Temple Dairy Community is located on the northern edge of the Sleeve Phylum Mountains between Nina and Thurles in County Tipperary. Operational since 2013, Temple Dairy Wind Farm is the first and only locally and community owned wind farm in Ireland. The wind farm is performing exceptionally well and the group are now selling their green electricity to the grid for the benefit of the local people and community who own it. This project is the envy of many. Its development is a tale of local commitment, perseverance and hard work, but ultimately it is a tale of overcoming obstacles and triumph. The project, I suppose, really dates back to about um, 1999. <laughs> A group has came together just to do a development plan for the area to see if, if we could find uh, resources within the area that could be developed. Uh, and uh, renewable energy was only beginning to be spoken about then. We held meetings all over the parish and they were well attended and people gave their opinions. And uh, we came to the conclusion that wind would be the best option because we felt it would if it was, if we got to the stage where it was commissioned that it would be profitable and that it would put funds back into the, the region. We put together a wind development company. Uh, that, uh, we set up an overall co-op and then that we said that uh, whoever wanted to invest in the wind then could, in, could become a shareholder in the wind development company. At that stage we were trying to design a project that we would be able to fund because uh, as, as, a, as a development group uh, we were just ordinary shareholders, we had old age pensioners, we had students, uh, local priests, we had farmers, we had teachers, we had, you know, we had a, just a cross section of the community and of course we were always conscious that we didn't want to put too much of a financial strain on anybody. It was a bit of a trip into the unknown for us all. Temple Dairy Wind Farm Limited consists of 30 shares. 27 are owned by local residents, one by the Tipperary Energy Agency and two are held for the Community Cooperative. The group had to navigate through challenging circumstances to secure planning permission, a connection to the grid and to find a bank willing to provide financing in the challenging economic climate of 2009. The project was financed with a range of sources including shareholder equity, leader grant aid, a loan from turbine manufacturers Enercon a business expansion loan and project finance from Delang Leyden Bank. Ten years after the initial application was lodged and after only nine weeks of construction on the ground, the Temple Dairy turbines started generating renewable electricity. We have two turbines capable of generating 2.3 megawatts each, so the total output is 4.6 megawatts. I think it's worked out brilliantly now. Uh, there was many times in that period that we felt it was never going to, to happen is the fact that an outside developer could develop in our area and transport all the money out of it uh, would, you know, would be very foreign to our way of thinking. The initial bunch of shareholders actually subsidised two shares for the rest of the community, really for the co-op. So everybody else only has one share, that was it, we're all equal shareholders. Apart from the community co-op, we have left aside two shares for that. These two turbines have the same benefit to this community than a wind development of 35 to 40 such turbines that would be built by an outside developer. So that's the difference and that's what wasn't promoted around the country. I see every turbine that goes up as, as another isle tanker that doesn't have to come into fines or, or into the North Wall in Dublin uh, every year. So it, instead of money going out of the country, uh, it, I think we had the potential to become an exporter of green, clean electricity. That they shouldn't take my <laughs> advice <laughs> or anybody else's. <laughs> um, Look, at, I think the ability is within every community because there's somebody from every walk of life in the community. You know, we have some people who work with accountants, we have somebody who works in the legal system, we have somebody who works in the revenue. We have, you know, um, the, the people who, who there's a lot of ability within any community if it can be, be pulled together. A strong enough mental attitude develops within a group that's capable of achieving anything. With the income from two shares, it will give an opportunity to kickstart a lot of projects within the community.